Hello. Hello. Okay. Just checking my mic. All right. Hello there. Welcome back to more Dragon Quest 7. Uh, so last time uh, we've finished up the desert. <laughs> and now I need to go check it out in the modern era. Go to Pilchard Bay. My mouse. It'd be closer if I actually zoom to Emberdale, I think. Yeah, there we go. That's my ship. I want to go this way. Around a bit. Okay, can't go directly apparently, gotta go through here. There we go, I think. Might just be a hidden location. It's a hidden location. I guess we'll just see what's here anyway. A Chimera Heart! What the hell is a Chimera Heart? Adam's using the time is right. Huh. A description saying that one can almost imagine life as a monster. Maybe somebody wants to be a monster. What the fuck? What is that? I'm gonna get my own fucking floating castle. That's gonna be fun. Anyway. Trying to get to the mainland here. Around here somewhere. There we go. Perfect. Yes. Okay. I was right. I think this is uh, where the, um... Yeah, this is where the oasis... Or the, the start of an oasis was. It just had, like, the one palm tree. But nah... Now we have this. Yellow Teleportal. I have unlocked the Yellow Teleportal. Hell yeah. Alright, anything else about this that I should know about? Doesn't seem like it. There's berries around here. I can't do anything about it. 
a bit of water, but that's about it. Alright, so really the only thing that changed here is a new location and a teleportal. Anyway... Okay, there is a piece here. Ah! This place has changed significantly. Can I get in here? I can drop... This is a big-ass pot! Damn! What's up? I suppose you are curious about what I am doing, yes? Quite. Hmm, I see. Well, allow me to tell you. I am fishing. Sand fishing. I don't expect to catch anything, of course. I have never caught anything. And I am sure that will not change. But still, I will continue to fish. I suppose you think be foolish, yes? Yes. I see. What if I say no? Nothing changes. Okay. Can I go down the hole? No? Very strange. There's a big pot. Ah, okay, so he's he's still the dude. That. Anyway, uh, let's see. What's down the well? Nothing. The elder's children are a source of great constant consternation to everyone in the village. The three eldest boys are helpless, while the youngest appears content to simply drift through life. They are giving their father a most terrible headache, I am sure. It is nice and cool in this area. Perhaps it is due to the presence of the well. Whatever the reason, I suddenly feel the urge to gossip. Have you heard any interesting tidbits, I wonder? It pits. Can you see it? Have you see? Can you see the way the ground swells over there? That was once a dwelling. It gradually became covered in sand over the years, and now the shape of its roof is all that remains visible. Oh! They built on top of the old thing. Because this is the windmill. This is the old windmill, and now it's like a stub. So the old warehouse isn't here anymore. There's the three brothers. There's the father, I assume. Travelers, eh? Welcome to the deserts. I imagine you must have had a long journey. We desert dwellers always welcome visitors. We hope you have a most restful time here. But I fear my sons may not allow that to happen. Ah, ignore me. My family is none of your concern. How many kids do you have? Is it one, two, three, four, and then the two, the three up top? Are they all sons? I clearly have the finest appearance. That much is undeniable. Your faces are exactly the same, which is a shame considering how painfully ugly they are. You two are simply clueless. I am clearly the most handsome. There can be no question. But I could not tell you who is the second least ugly. To me, your faces are like two identical camel's rumps. How can you not appreciate the fineness of my appearance? Truly, there is no hope for you. You two form an identical pair. When you look at each other, it is as if you are looking at, at a mirror. Whereas my face breaks the mirror and the mold. Uh, most people don't brag about being able to break a mirror with their appearance. Makeup makes me appear many decades younger. Ho 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 ho. You already look so young, madam. You do not require any makeup. Ah.
Room belongs to the three very stupid, I mean the elders, three eldest sons. A younger brother cannot stand to be in the same room as them. This being the case, he sleeps in an old hut behind the mansion. <laughs> so that's where the youngest one is. So, he has eight sons? May have already... Oh, I didn't get that. Pilchard's... Pilchard crackers? Why do they have Pilchard crackers? The street boys appear to find a new reason to argue every single day. I dread to think that what will come of the village when the current elder is forced to decide on a successor. I don't know why they argue. After all, they have so much in common. Same ugly faces, the same empty heads. You all look alike to me! Alright, sleeps so behind here. Ah, you're a standout kind of guy. What do you want? This is a private residence. You have no business here. There's not an inn or a tower or any such place. Please leave. After I check your books. The adventurer's rule book. One, be brave in all that you do. Two, have a pure heart that, and be true to it. Three, remember that life itself is an adventure. Maps of the world and tomes filled with adventurer's tales. All right. I take it this guy wants to go out walking. I don't think there's much I can do here. Unless they have, like, a staircase down to the storeroom or something. They're clearly, like, built on top of the old village. Doesn't seem to be a way to get down to the old village at all. What are you doing? My wife is furious. It is the elder's sons who have made her angry, but if they are not around, I will bear the brunt of her ire. Uh oh. I feel for you, man. Where are those foolish, foolish boys gone now? They are always so slow to help, but so very fast when it comes to avoiding work. Uh, scolding, yes. Um... Guess that's an item shop. Is this an inn? Not an inn. That's the inn. Back there. And there's a kid. Got a medicinal herb. The random stones. You're asleep on your feet there, I see. Dancer's costume. Nothing. Right. I guess we'll move on from here. Ah. Interesting. So they said that the piece... I looked at the, uh... The next <laughs> next fragment location. The piece is in the palace. Ah, visitors, welcome. Wait, can it be? Yes, yes, it must be. It's just as the legends describe. Your appearance, your faces. I've been waiting for you. Every desert dweller has been waiting for you. I must go and inform the queen. Finally, somebody wrote me down! Please wait here a short while. I shall return imminently. Somebody actually wrote me down. Honored saviors of the sands, we have waited a long time for this day. We knew that you would come. And your, that your wanderings across the vast reaches of time would eventually bring you here again. There is not a single desert dweller who has not dreamed of your coming. Now please, come this way. I 
I must ask that you wait here a short while. I shall go and summon Her Majesty. There she is. On behalf of her August Majesty Queen Neferta, <coughs> allow me to welcome you back on our, back to our desert realm. We have eagerly awaited this day, the day when the saviors of the sands would visit us once more from across the great reaches of time. You saved the desert. You saved our queen. You saved our people. You shall be made to feel very welcome during your time here. You shall want for nothing. Such are the stipulations laid down in the last will and testament of King Hadid. King... King Hadid. Hadid and the, <coughs> and the Queen married, apparently. And such are the wishes of all the people of the kingdom who owe you a debt greater than words can express. It took me a second to remember who Hadid was. <laughs> Saviors of the Sands, welcome. I was like, wasn't this place, wasn't this place a matriarchy? Then I remembered who Hadid was. Silence, please! Her Majesty wishes to impart a message of her own. Queen Neferta thanks you for making the long and arduous journey to visit us here. And she thanks you also for the great service you did our people so many moons ago. We owe you our very existence. Silence, please! Our present state of prosperity and happiness, indeed, the very fact that we are able to live a life of peace here in the desert, all are direct consequences of your actions. Queen Neferta offers thanks not only from herself and her present subjects, but from all those of the royal line and all who have ever called these sands home. On behalf of all the generations that have been and all those still to come, once again we say thank you. You are our honored guests. We ask that you make yourselves entirely at home. Tonight there will be a feast to celebrate your return. The entire kingdom will participate. We hope you will enjoy this humble celebration of your deeds. Please treat the temple palace as you would your own home. Your comfort is our utmost priority. So I need to find some kind of hidden uh, passageway according to the where is the next fragments option in the menu? <laughs> I did not look this up. Just in the info section, it tell it can tell you where the next piece is. Banquet lasts until the early hours of the morning and features all kinds of exotic and delicious food and drink. The entire kingdom seems genuinely overjoyed that Hunter and friends have come to visit. After eating and drinking their fill, the party spend the rest of the evening singing, dancing, and thoroughly enjoying themselves. Then morning comes. Again. Hey, Zach. How you doing? It seems you have slept well, Hunter. This is good. You must have been tired indeed after last night's festivities. You are our saviors, and we owe you everything. The Queen would like, to, like you to know that we will never forget this. If you're ever in need of any assistance or support of any kind, we will always be happy to help you. Her Majesty hopes that in this way, we may at least be able to repay you a small part of the great debt of gratitude we owe. There's also something else. We believe that Queen Fertiti entrusted you with a certain item. Queen Neferta would like to reiterate her predecessor's request, and ask you to do your best to keep it safe and out of the hands of monsters. Please remember, you are all most welcome to return to the desert any time you wish. We will also be more than happy to see you. Awesome. Bill can't get under the water. To get the, uh, the thing. I can't get past these ladies. Get to the back. Well, I'm still looking for a way... Some kind of hidden passage. Isn't that what it said? At the end 
In the Temple Palace, it can be found at the end of a hidden passageway. Oh, this is... This has been greatly redefined. A hidden passageway. I'm scared, mother, where are you? Um, do I have to find your mother? Oh, mother! Our saviors, are you here to visit someone great, perhaps? I brought my son here to pay his respects to his grandfather, but now I seem to have lost sight of the child. Where could he have gone? He's right over there in the other corner. Literally the opposite corner. Queens of the Desert continue to watch over their subjects even after they pass into the next life. This is why they are buried beneath the Temple Palace. Doing so confers the protection of our departed monarchs upon us. Here lies Queen... Merce Queen Merciger Queen Fertiti Queen Amunet Queen Teo Queen Kamenet Wait No. No, ke Keminut. Keminut? Chemotherapy. No. <laughs> I don't know if stone tablet in front of him. Nothing remarkable. Ah. Okay, hold up. Uh, this one is Queen Fertiti, right? Something... You would think, of all the places, uh, the hidden pass passageway would be, like, underneath her grave, right? Ow. Not ow, but I keep getting stuck. Where, oh where, is this hidden place? Hidden beneath the palace. Hidden pass. I haven't been this way. Hello? It goes deeper. Oh, this has been drastically redesigned. Hello? The lotus flower is said to be the seat of the ruler of the heavens. This is why the shrine contains these sacred lotus flowers, as well as the holy waters of Mother Nihil. It is the earthly domain of all that is sacred. This is our shrine. It is the most sacred place. Our saviors are always welcome here, of course. Perhaps you would like to offer a prayer to the spirit of the land. Something like that. Nothing is of more importance to we desert dwellers than water. Nothing save the spirit of the land, that is. On the banks of Mother Nihil, far, far upstream, stands the great likeness of the spirit of the land. The gaze of the likeness keeps monsters from the desert and ensures our safety. Oh, so they rebuilt it. Queen Neferda is the high priestess of the shrine. We spirit maidens are dedicated to her majesty as we are to the spirit of the land. We pray four times each and every day. Today we will add a special prayer for you, our saviors, to ask that all your future journeys be safe ones. On the stone are engraved the words of an ancient queen and king of our people. So that the blood of these two monarchs flows through the veins of all desert dwellers. A uh, hidden passageway, hidden passageway. Hello? Not all the items in the storeroom are treasures, so the contents of each chest remains mystery to me, of course. Well, I would like to know what they are. This is the shrine storeroom, so the items stored here are too sacred to be kept in any other place. Well, could they be kept in my pocket?
I think that's a pretty safe place to put them. Kind of... Hidden passageway underneath the palace. Wherefore art thou? I don't think I can push any of these. Hmm. <laughs> I can't go any deeper. No, it said the presence. Presence of a tablet in the temple palace. It can be found at the end of a hidden passageway. I'm pretty sure it said present day. Palace. The end of a hidden passageway. It's like, if I manage to leave here... And then zoom the Shrine of Mysteries. Oh, well, it said it before. Can I get more info if I talk to the bug man, maybe? Can't hear anything at all. What? That's not what I wanted. Ah, come on! The info next out of Okay, before I started the stream, I looked for where the next tablet was supposed to be. It said present day Albalad. Beneath the temple palace. In a hidden passageway. Maybe. Maybe behind the palace. No, I'm not seeing anything around here. Can't push this out of the way or anything. Is that supposed to be one? Talk to the queen. Uh, I can't really talk to the queen because she's kind of behind people. Maybe there's people here will tell me something. Is your convenience? Presently to be found on the floor below this one. Before that are graves of our previous queens and our most sacred shrine. Maybe I just haven't checked the rooms here enough. I must thank you, I must thank you for design deigning to speak to me. What I'm doing here, a fine question. You see, Her Majesty the Queen occasionally visits the shrine, and... Why should this? Ah, another fine question. The Queen also serves as the High Priestess of all desert dwellers. Her Hallowed Majesty makes one of her shrine visits. She always passes by this spot, and this is why I stand here, in order to gaze upon her... 
countenance from as close by as possible. Rather embarrassing, I suppose. Why don't you just turn around? It's not exactly a wall between here and there. Uh, important law of the desert. Does not engage in direct conversation with anyone. Spirit maidens act as intermediaries. My sister was today delivered of a child. Precious news. Her ma majesty wishes to know of all such developments. That is, to the extent to which she cares for her subjects. Her majesty the queen has been anxiously waiting your return, as have we. Ah! So I was just supposed to check out the castle and then come back. I actually would like to offer you a personal welcome to her kingdom. we will also welcome here among the desert dwellers, dear saviors. Or not. Okay, uh, I would like to treat it as my own home, but I can't walk past you. Or can I? The answer is no. Okay, so I haven't checked out all the rooms up here. Maybe there's something... Or down here, rather. Maybe there's something I missed. I found a, a silk bustier. Set of noble garb. And a silver tiara. Make yourselves at home. I'm working on it. Where the queen's gar the queen's garments, you say? <laughs> this is uh these are the queen's wardrobes. Well, I'm gonna go before I lose my head. <laughs> uh, queen's meals are repaired here. Got some. Get out the door! You would think that the kids probably know about these things more than the adults. Cats don't like water. I like cats. They are so fluffy, warm, and so cuddly. That doesn't help me. I work as a guard. All posts must be made at all times, day and night. We take turns and sleep in this room. Okay. So, so far, I have found jack shit. A legendary savior is welcome to the palace library. These stones contain the wisdom of the desert dwellers, collected over the course of countless centuries. King Hadid's last will and testament is also kept here in the library. It, he commands those who survive him to ensure that your efforts to guarantee the future of the desert peoples are never forgotten. And that you be given a welcome worthy of the true heroes. Okay. They're identical to the saviors as depicted in the image that the king drew to accompany the document. This desert was surrounded in darkness and came under attack by foul monsters. Yeah, yeah. As for the rest of the group, it was you, our saviors. Blood Rue is an accursed gem which brought evil. You know this already, of course, you are the ones who removed it. I'm glad y'all so willingly and welcomingly believe that. interesting the great spirits volume 2 not the only mighty spirit in the world there exists fire and water and wind <coughs> none who inhabit this world should ever forget to give thanks to the mighty beings okay it was many many years ago my grandfather sat me down and told me of the land where he was born he spoke of a faraway place a place so distant that neither ship nor camel could ever reach it now that I have followed in his footsteps and become a scholar of the castle, I find I cannot forget his tale. 
One day, I mean to set out and seek it, to journey in search of the land of my forefathers. Don't see any particularly interesting books. Book goes on this shelf, and this parchment belongs here. The saviors, greetings to you. Okay, so none of that is helping me. What do you want from me? Well, off to Google, I guess. Uh, DQ7 Temple Palace Hidden Passage. Loading. Okay. Wait. It said present day. It is in the past? Piece of shit. Yes, I see. Okay, ow. <laughs> Already banging their heads on the ceiling. <laughs> I love that detail. <laughs> it's a hilarious detail. like to select I believe it's a yellow pillar uh this one yes I do have one new fragment there's one hidden under here apparently just gotta make it there without much trouble my mouse in the middle of the screen again I'll never see the queen again, not in this life at least. <laughs> there were terrible times, there were monsters everywhere. Yep, okay, everybody's just discussing everything. Anyway, I'm glad you have decided to pay us a visit. Indeed, I have been waiting for you. After all, I promise to reward you for saving my kingdom from certain doom. Proceed to my chamber on the lower floor of the temple palace. The corridor behind that chamber contains a hidden staircase. The staircase will lead you to a vault containing the royal family's greatest treasures. This is your reward, Hunter. These treasures are yours to keep. Ah. One of the blood rubies... ...to me. Well, that's definitely gonna be important later. I mean, I'm sure the two accursed jewels are never again united, as I fear they might otherwise be. Well, that's definitely going to happen. You can't fool me, game. I've played countless RPGs. JRPGs, to be specific. Okay, now we're talking. So, first of all, this is the library. This is not where I wish to be. Okay, this is this place. Back here. The jackal statue somewhere. Not supposed to move. This one. Ah. 
Uh... Alright. So, if the yellow piece that I have doesn't finish off one of the uh, pillars, then I guess red is our next goal. Gold bracer. A mini metal. And 210 gold coins. Nice. Now, is that what she was talking about, I wonder? Or is there another storeroom? I thought for sure... Where are those chests that the two ladies were guarding? I have no clue anymore. Everything's a little bit of a blur when you keep changing time periods like this. I wonder if I'll be able to go to... Uh, Ancient Pilchard Bay at some point. Oh wait, I can't. I'm in the past. Oh yeah, the archaeologist. This is where that, uh, the portal is now in the present. It's so weird to think that, like, this place got buried. I don't think the archaeologist is around here. Anyway. Let's go this way. Seriously? I'm in the middle of something here. Let's try the yellow pillars again. Gotta be this one, right? Yes. Alright. This probably isn't a very important island. It's probably just like, uh... A small... Mishap, what the hell is that? Like the the first place where everybody was turned to stone. Monologue. Puns! God, I hate you. <laughs> Die, bitch. Anyway, what the... This place isn't big at all. The big-ass tree at the top there. In near Grondal. Grundal. I don't know how to pronounce it. I am never having seen your faces before. I guess you are... Trying to visit Grundal, yes? Well, look, it is kind of being none of my business, but you really should not be going there right now. I mean, it used to be just a regular village, but there is being something real strange going on there recently. 
I'm trying to be Swedish. But I feel like it's not working. Bow before the savior. That's not it. Let's just rest here for a bit. 36 gold. That's not bad. I have 14,000. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this guy saved me. Save for me. Yes. May as well while I'm here. Hold up, something happened. Okay. Okay, anyway. Uh, let's also do a save state. There it goes. And let's see what Grundal has to do with anything. Ah, there's another nut monkey. Total nutter. Nice. Stay off the path! I don't know if these things at this point are actually counting towards my skill, my, uh, my class mastery. Well, this doesn't bode well. I'm sorry. Biab, biab. Biab, biab. This dog has an accent. He he he, ho ho ho, I am being the Demon King. All you stupid humans got to fear me and respect me. He he he, ho ho ho. I am being the Demon King, yes? Everyone is being frightened of my power. This is not good. I see there is a bit of an issue. There is very, very lacquer water in this well. So delicious, I cannot be getting enough of it. Lacquer. So, so delicious. This well's water is being worthy of quenching the thirst of the Demon King, for sure. That is me, by the way. Yes, I am being the lord of all evils. Your Swedishness makes me, uh... Less inclined to believe that. It's full of purple smoke, making it impossible to see the bottom. Yeah, you're not, uh... Particular. It will soon be time to determine once and for all the identity of the true Demon King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait. But how are we going to do it? How are we going to be proving that I am the real Demon King? Why, we shall hold a contest, of course. A contest to see who has the eldritch power required to fell the sacred tree known as Ig. There's always one. Many believe that a curse will befall any who damage this so-called great tree, but the true Demon King need not fear such petty witchcraft. Well, what do you say? Do you wish to take part in this trial by wickedness? Felling the great tree? For sure! I... I think this is being a real good idea. <clears throat> Ig's curse. Yeah. This is being the perfect idea, I think. I will be showing everyone who is g being the true Demon King. I hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A contest is, is being the only way. After all, as Demon King, I, not, I got nothing to fear from any curse. Well, I can see y'all are way the fuck off your rocker.
where, oh, where is everybody? Travelers, listen, you gotta leave this village as soon as you can. I cannot be telling you details, but... For having seen it, yes, there is something strange affecting the people right now. It is affecting me too. Even now, the poison that drowns this village feels like it is eating away at my body. Staying here, it is being real bad for your health. This is why you got to leave, seriously. Keep your hair on. Tips for combating baldness. Not interested in the slightest. I am! Any metal. Other hat. Oh. Oh, but wait. Sorry, but I gotta ask you to do me a favor on your way out of town. I am not having anybody else to rely on, you see. To the north of this village, there's being a huge tree we call Ig. Maybe you are knowing about it already. Anyhow, there is a girl child living at the bottom of this, this tree. She is being kind of eccentric, but still. You have to tell her about what is happening here in Grundal. Okay? And please, tell her not to be coming anywhere near the, to the village. I know it is being a lot to ask, but I cannot do it myself. I cannot even move, so will you help me with this? Sure. Back to you. Never heard that phrase before. Back to you. I kind of doubt that the church is going to be of much help to me right now. Let's check. Can I? Oh, that's just that. So never mind. All right, let's see what we got around here. That is something, right? Maybe once the tree is bigger. You must have cut down the one tree in order to make a house in this one. Is it a druid? Down's the air around his feet. Empty jug standing on the floor. Oh no, I think that's her hair. Blimey, she really doesn't want to wake up, does she? She's even more of a sleepyhead than you, Maribel. How dare you! I'm no sleepyhead! I'm always the last to bed and the first to rise. Well, most of the time. Anyway, what are you what are we going to do? Should we maybe go back to the mayor and tell him that she won't wake up? Uh well apparently that's what we're doing, I guess. This can only go well. Hi! Yeah, this can only go well. That's not good. Move. You got to get out of my way. Well, shit. I got to go, go and to chop down the great tree, and I got to be doing it right now. I got nothing to be fearing from no stupid curse. I am being the Demon King. Y'all are being the stupid. Kehehe, <laughs> gullible fools. Be sure to give it your all, my dear Demon Kings. Who are you? You weren't here before. I can see why everyone goes on about the water in the swell. It's blue and delicious. It's like it soaks in your whole body from the inside and into your heart. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Issues abound. Uh, something tells me is a little turned. You're having come back. Did I not make it clear that you got to stay away? That <laughs> there is not being much hope for you. You are always being so eh, stubborn, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, my sight, it, it is all going very blurry. There is not being much time left for me. Soon I will not be able to talk or anything. Please do not forget what I am asking you about the girl. The one who is living under the great tree. Hmm. The girl he's talking about, that must be the one we found fast asleep, don't you think? Well, then we should probably tell him that we found her, but we couldn't wake her up. But it doesn't look like he's in any fit state to listen. Besides, I'm worried about those people we saw rushing off towards the Great Tree. I think we should head back there and see what they're doing. 
Well, it's clear what they're trying to do. Ah. Okay, one of them is hitting it with a cypress stick. One of them is hitting it with a club, and one thinks she's casting a spell. Yes, yes! Keep going! Strike harder! The true demon king has nothing to fear. Hello there. Stop it! Please, stop it! You're... you're hurting her! Shut up, silly girl. You are thinking you can stand in the Demon King's way? Never! Oh, he just clocked her. Please, please stop. Can I, like, knock them over the heads? Yes. You've got- you got to be real dumb, or maybe you are just having an appetite for pain. What's this? Are you trying to get in the way of the contest? You must be kind of brave to be taking on the Demon King. Kind of brave or kind of stupid. Alright, if it's pain you are wanting, pain you shall be having. Cause sizzle! It did not work. Foolish imposter. Fake Demon King's got to be casting spells. Now take a look how it is done for real, yes? A frizzle! It can't do any magic. Uh, why? Why is there no spell happening? It's like it is my turn. Here I go. Kaboom! But this is being very, very strange. Maybe I'm being tired or something. Stop this foolishness. Do not waste your energy. I will deal with these meddling children. I'll get back to your contest. The tree must be felled. Alright, alright. There's no need to be shouting. We will be... Leaving this in the, your capable hands. Even the Demon King must delegate sometimes. Yes, the true Demon King is not having a time to waste on little kids anyhow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to carry out with the contest and see who is winning. Oh boy. What an early pathetic gaggle of Cretans. And as for you, impudent children, I have no idea why you insist on interfering, but you won't be doing so again. I can fix that. Ah, the stranger. The stranger is looking much stranger than he did a second ago. But I will be fixing that. I thought I had... Rude Awakening. Ah, here we are. A 211. Hell yeah. Fuck, that was easy. <laughs> the stranger is defeated. Maribel learns swoosh. Nice. Gah, you got the better of me this time, but I was not properly prepared. You have made a grave error in attempting to disrupt my plans. You will pay for your impudence, mark my words. For all his sinister talk, the man is not being much of a fighter. Still, it does not change nothing. I am still being the Demon King. You will never ever be able to defeat me. And he runs away. Er, oh, uh... Wah, ha, 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 heh. You did pretty good, but you are still having no chance of beating me. Oh, no. Lucky for you, I got other things to worry about right now. Farewell. Wah, ha, ha. You are being very, very strong indeed. So, uh, yes, I will spare your life so that we may meet again. Ka ha 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 ha! Thank God they're stupid. <laughs> she appears to be unconscious. Carry her back to her hut? Yes. Or carry the unconscious girl back to her room. 
Who are you? Wait, the tree! Is she still standing? Yes. Oh, oh, that's a relief. So, was it you who helped me? Did you bring me back here? Yes. You did, didn't you? Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's the water. The water that flows beneath the forest. It's been contaminated and, well, as you can see, it's made me quite poorly. If it wasn't for the great tree, I wouldn't have... I would have died a long time ago, and the entire forest, too. You see, the tree has the power to purify the contaminated water, at least a little. It's blessed with incredible healing powers. So why were the people of Grundal trying, so, trying to cut her down? <coughs> they must have drunk the water, too. They've fallen under the Demon King's curse, and... <coughs> and <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm just a little tired. I need to rest. There isn't much room in here, but... You're welcome to stay if you like. Exhausted after today's exertions, the party spend the night in the strange girl's hut. But who else? So we've seen an elf in a Dragon Quest game. No, not the damn jug. Vandalism. Vandalism over jugs. Although, it depends on the jug. Ah. Talk to her. You got it. Sorry, I don't seem to have the strength to get out of bed. I hate to ask, but could you take the pitcher there and collect some of the dew that drips from Ig's leaves? There we go. Pixie pitcher. I don't know what that does. Would an Yggdrasil leaf work? Um, one second. Organize bag by name. Pixie picture. Dainty receptacle for water or anything else you like. Okay. Oh, okay. Dew of life is glistening gently in the sun. You could probably collect some if you had some kind of container. Oh, so I have to go into my items and hit use. God damn it. Just use the thing. Soon fill to the brim with the dew of life. Rose of Dust do a life onto the girl's lips. Thank you. I feel much better now. Goodness, I've never been I've never seen so much do of life before. The picture is almost overflowing. It gives me an idea. Maybe we can use it to help the people of Grundal. The healing power of the great tree is surely strong enough to cure them of the Demon King's curse. How do we convince them to drink it when they're all so angry? Well it doesn't matter, we have to try. Please, you have to use the do of life in the on the people of Grundal. You have to save them. I would do it myself, but I'm not allowed to go too far from Ig. You're the only hope those po poor people have. Yep. Can I collect more? Do I need to collect more? Doesn't seem like it. There's more of you. Hey, you bastard! We meet again. Fear not, I do not intend to do battle with you today. 
Why not join me in a glass of delicious well water instead? You will soon see that his reputation is well founded. Full purple smoke, being impossible to see at the bottom. Can I just pour the dew down the well? Would that work? How the hell do I even do anything about this? What about you, old man? It is coming, the end is coming, the darkness is filling my heart. Well, that's... morbid. What do you want from me? What do I plant next? Stones? Salt? It is being so much fun to ruin such beautiful fields. Are you trying to say you want to do some shopping? No way, I cannot be selling anything to squiggly little worms like you. There are only three of them, and they are what the King should be doing for sure. It's you! Your defeat of the stranger was ve very amusing to me. So amusing that I am thinking I want to live once more. But you may not be so lucky next time. You're not very bright. I got three little children who are believing they can take on the Demon King. Let them try, I will soon teach them a lesson. Lacquer, delicious water from the well is the best. I kind of see who is being fools that so I am being the living king. You are being the ones who stopped it. I agree. I am not going to fight you. I want to worry about trade, but I don't have much more. I wouldn't want to live without this delicious water. Drink my fill of this stuff every day. Okay, how do I fix it? I will be becoming just like the other villagers, I suppose. Darkness will get bigger and bigger, and then uh, it is being enough to drive anyone to the drink. Well, it's gonna drive me to vandalism. The back end here. Right. Help me. There is nothing, nothing left for breaking. I mean, there's this. Uh, I think I'll go and take another drink. Lacquer well water is delicious. Maybe I just hit use on the pitcher in front of the well. Where'd it go? Uh, help! Really simple, but how are you going to get them to drink it? I feel like I need to put it in the well somehow. Is there like a a water a river source somewhere? Girl who lives on her own, or probably seems like most trouble with really source of information. Sure. Okay. Hmm. I got a file of magic water.
What do I do? Do you have any other advice? Nope. God damn. Ah, here we go. Offers to do a life with a man. Try to make me drink of water. I just being ordered by water to do with life, yes? Very good. I am feeling the strength and the energy. This is Zig's power. This is going to make everybody in the village better again. I know it is. Listen, you don't gotta do this, but if you are willing to help the people of Grundal, it's what you life and pour it all into the village as well. Bring our only source, you see? Most people are drinking from it all day long. If you're pouring the dew of life, it will be curing everybody. Now we're talking. Get out the door. Here we go. I support up there. Oi, oi, oi. Monsters. Let's get them. Wait, do not let their smoke in the ordinary clothes. Far better to tightly pack yourselves around the well and prevent their reaching it than attempt to fight them. You there, merchant. Going to be standing poisoned. Well, fuck. I kind of figured something like that would happen. I didn't think. For having tried to pour the dew of life into the well, but the villagers did not allow you. To. Still, there is a. The well is being connected to this area's underground waterways. From inside those waterways, you can be making your way to the well's bottom, for sure. Where are the waterways? Waterways aren't in here. Not in here. How does one get into the waterways? Maybe. You have an idea? The inn does not have its own well, so I can't get in like that. Nothing here. If you're making a trip to Grondal, why not be breaking... Okay. Where, oh where, do I get to the damn waterways? Doesn't seem to be this way. Just an open field. Gotta be another way to the waterways somehow. Can't go behind the tree, it doesn't look like. Ah, my neck. How do I get... 
I just... No, that wouldn't be the case. What do you want from me? How do I get into the waterways? Do I just pour it down the drain? Now nah, that wouldn't make sense, would it? Doesn't have any way over the edge that I can get in there. Actually, talk to these. My, I should have poured that do, do in myself. If you weren't so easily distracted, they wouldn't have had time to get in, your, in our way. Do of life is just what we need to cure the, these people, and that creep in the cloak knows it. Okay, that doesn't help me find the waterways. Thank you. I got no. Maybe if I talk to the elf, maybe she knows about the waterways. Hello, help. Oh, of course, that's exactly what I need to do. Really? The villagers are stopping you from getting to the well? Oh, and it was such a good idea to pour the Dew of Life in there, too. Wait, the well is connected to the underground waterways which run beneath the forest. There's an entrance leading down to the waterways near the base of the Great Tree. You must promise to be careful. I wouldn't be surprised if one of the Demon King's minions was polluting the water. Okay. Turned out to be a much bigger endeavor than I anticipated. Do it. Probably infested with monsters. You should be careful. All right. There we go. How am I doing on health? I'm fine. Can't turn the screen, though. Makes this a very terrible angle. <gasps> Metal slime! It stayed. Attack the metal slime. Everybody focus on the goddamn metal slime. WRONG! Target! Don't you dare! Yes! I only have one target. Fucking focus on it. Stay! Shaisa! Fuck! I need Metal Slash or a... Guaranteed critical strike attack. Okay, apparently that didn't help. Uh. Well, this makes my job a lot harder. Considering they seem to focus on everything except... The Metal Slime first. So I need to switch their prior... Whenever the... Bleh. That's new. Whenever there's a metal slime, I need to switch their 
uh, tactics to follow orders so I can tell them to focus on the thing. Okay. Got a pair of boxer shorts. Where's the map? Down there, okay. Ooh! Okay, tactics, everybody. Follow orders. Fight, attack, metal slime. Attack, metal slime. I have anything to attack several times. Roundhouse kick, pressure pointer, dragon slash, wing clipper. Curial thrust. They just attack then. Curial thrust. Okay, something tells me that abilities also are a big no no when fighting metal slimes. Because that just seemed to miss every time. Okay, it's still here. Stick around a bit longer, please. Fuck. Oh, because we were dazzled. I think. Come on. Fuck. Still here, yes. Yes! I got one! Okay, everybody, fight wisely. Uh, let's see. Roundhouse kick. There we go. 1131. Nice. Alright, this one is a dead end, which hopefully means... There's two of them now?! What? No. Let's leave them be. They both stayed. Why are Metal Slimes so common down here? Fuck! That sucked. Both ran at the same time. Nothing. Well, that was a misleading endeavor. Okay. A lot of power behind that tiny body. there. Let's just head out after fighting the Serial Quiller. And Monologue. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, let me... No, I'll just keep going. And they suddenly attack, of course. The last one to get hit was zero. There we go. Okay.
Parabell is level 21. Maximum HP is 5, 6. MP equals 4. Yeah! Maul the Maria! As always. Okay, just knock it off the branch. There we go. I'm not going to fight the unexpected. I'll fight more nut monkeys, though. my screen still and this guy is guarding the ladder okay up we go still can't turn my screen it's kind of annoying This definitely has to be... Oh, of course I hit myself. What was I saying? Oh yeah, this has to be counting towards my... Uh... Class experience. God, it is so narrow in here! And the camera angle is terrible! Like the Crash Bandicoot camera angles. Can't see shit past the south end. Ah! Did you get down the ladder in time? Well, of course not. Oh, she's out of MP. Learn full heal. Nice. I don't even know if I'm heading in the right direction anymore. Of course it's guarded. I've got to be getting close, right? Come on! Grand. Y'all just, like, lay down and die. That'd be fantastic. There we go. Uh, this way. Oh, fuck you. I'll hurry up. Just stay down. Just fell off his horse. Just a straight up metal slime? Okay. Can I use 
roundhouse kick on these things to hit them both. I even hit them with abilities. I hit one of them. So it is possible. Still here. That one ran. Okay. Hey, I got one! Nice! 1,000 experience. Sweet. I leveled up. Didn't learn anything new. It's all good. Ah! Ah, oh, come on! It vanished! Okay, sure. Alright, uh... I don't have any magic water, so I can't... Okay, that's fine. <sighs> oh. Monologue was killed. Okay. I don't know what the hell you just used. Is that what pressure pointer is supposed to do? It just kills what it hits? I have some seeds here. Seed of life. We'll use that on Maribel. Seed of magic. Put on Maribel. Seed of resilience. Use that on you. Seed of strength. Use that on me. Nice. Okay. Now where is that magic water? I have three here. Another one on you. That puts you at 84 MP. And for the time being, that will suffice. Just get up here. Come on! Ugh. <laughs> Come on, damn it! I think I found the end of the road. Ah! Is that it? That's kind of terrifying. Of course. Ha ha ha! Get to work, you filthy creatures. We're not here to have fun, as you well know. Well, no. Splash the Demon King's unholy water all over. Make sure the whole place is well contaminated. Well, this is an issue. I guess I gotta fight them first. Use my own magic. Kill everybody. And I'll use one magic water for myself. And here we go. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Wait, I've heard about you. You're the ones who spoiled our plans to chop down that stupid holy tree when they were going so well, aren't you? Well, now. And what's that you're carrying? It wouldn't be the Dew of Life, would it? Hehehe. <laughs> but of course it is. You're going to try and use it to purify the well water, aren't you? Well, I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Come here. And what are you called? The Well Wisher. I beat one of you already. News. 
Not affect anyone. Nice. Keep hitting it with the knuckle sandwich. There we go. Keep hitting it. Yeah! No, oh, I was doing so well. How could I? How could I lose? Ha! Because little Temmie can fight back. It's full of purple smoke, making it impossible to see the bottom. I just... Why can't you do this shit automatically? No, oh, apparently I... Good life, there we are. Okay. I'm not forced to do a life into the water. Ah, wh what is happening here? Huh? What am I doing standing here? I I am feeling like like I am just waking up from a very very long dream. What what was that light I was seeing just now? It was feeling like it kind of cleansed my heart or something. How weird! My mind and my body they suddenly feel lighter, clearer. Ah, ow! This pain! This pain! Is this the power of the tree? It gets stopped! Hey! You are... Are you feeling okay, friend? You are not looking so good. I feel like I should get out. Pardon me! You... You again. Why must you always interfere with my plans? Hey, friend, are you feeling okay? That mark, did you get burned or something? Shut up! Leave me alone! Oh. Hey, who do you think you're do- What do you think you're doing? Oh, get away from me. Belling humans, it seems I have no choice but to raise your filthy village to the ground. Oh. I just came out of one fight and into another. What are you fighting, Batboon? Well, okay. Oof. Oh, boy. 175. Hell yeah. Okay. Ah, how did you dodge the attack? You were knocked to the ground. Oh, shit. Full heal, please. Thank you. I don't know why I went with the normal attack. Oh, shit. Yes! 
Aha! Take that. My plan to make you pathetic humans cut down the tree of life with your own hands. It was so perfect. Damn you. Yeah! I felt like a soccer player, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen the video clip where the soccer player gets slapped and he like takes a whole second to realize he's been slapped and then goes, ah! <laughs> that is always hilarious. Okay. All right, so now maybe I go talk to the mayor? Well, as having gone well in the end, eh? And yeah. Pack, thank you. Thank you very much. If it was not for you, I am not knowing what would have happened to this village, nor to Mighty Ig. Now, I guess you got to be fi feeling kind of tired, and I know the villagers are wanting another chance to say tech to you. So how about you say you stay right here tonight? Sure. Please be enjoying restful time and some nice hospitality. I think my phone's charging port is busted. You're being awake already, huh? I am hoping you got a real good night's sleep. After all, you are having earned it, defeating that monster that has got to have been exhausting. Actually, while you were sleeping, I went to pay a visit to the Great Tree. The girl child who is living there is having a message for you. I'm telling me to ask you to be dropping by when you are having a chance. I guess she just wanting to thank you for all you have done or something. Get out the door! Does the girl child join- Hello? Hold up. Does the elf join me is my question that I was trying to ask. Where is the piece? Didn't show up on my map. What a very strange looking stone. Here we are. Red one. Okay, red is definitely my next destination. That's the only one here. Got it. Roots of Egg. Get up the frickin' ladder. Hello? Thanks so much for coming back to see me like I asked. Now, I told you I had a present to give you, but first I want to tell you my secret. It's about the great tree and about me. You see, Egg is actually still only a sapling. One day she'll grow into a great big tree called Yggdrasil, with incredible healing powers. Of course, that won't be for hundreds of years yet. So in the meantime, someone needs to protect her. That's where I come in. My job is to look after Ig while she grows. I was born in these woods, you know. Born from these trees. I'm what you might call a forest fairy. And I've lived here with Ig now for a very long time. We were here long before you, humans. Then when you came, I started the rumor of the curse of Ig to keep you all away. I was scared of you, you see. And the monsters took advantage of that. But things are going to be different from now on. I'm not afraid of human humans anymore. I want to work with the local people to protect Ig and Steg. Instead, and Steg. Uh, you. Go away, away. All right. Uh, back to my game. Thank you so much. Wow, I just realized that my frames dropped drastically. Holy shit, when did I lose 14,000 frames? Wand made of Ig's branches. Ooh. That goes directly to Maribel. Staff of Salvation. 
I've been brought back to life lots of times so I could carry on protecting Ig, you know. I can't help wondering what will happen to me when she's finally grown, though. Will I just disappear, or will I be given some new role to fulfill? Well, that's a morbid thought. Let's see, who has it? Do you have it? Don't have it. Apparently, you have a seed of resilience. Well, let's find out, shall we? Maybe I should rest first, now that I think about it. Eh. Where is the end? Here, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Never mind. Oh, no, wait. I already rested, but that's right. I forgot. The dude let me stay at his uh, house after I finished. Okay, so we go over here. Now, let's go see what this new island has in store for us, shall we? Ugh. I need to see where it is first. I just zoom to Pilchard Bay. Okay. Alright, it's just next to there. So let's just... Excuse me. Zoom to the Temple Palace. So now the ship is... Where is the ship? over there. Okay. Oh, there's a chest over there as well. Might as well grab that while I'm heading this direction. A seat of agility. Nice. There we go. All right, then from here we go east. Don't think of it. While I'm here, let me try something. We'll go there in a second. Just give me a. Give me a quick think here. The, um... Ah, this is not where the likeness is. This is something different. Greta's College. Please do not pick the flowers. You got it. My father told me that the old lady who lives here used to be a real beauty in her day. I can believe that. She's still got that air about her somehow. Hello there, dearie. My name's Greta. Now, you might find this hard to believe, but people used to make a big fuss about how beautiful I was. That's all over now, of course. Now I just live a peaceful life here in the mountains, tending to my flowers. Uh, you don't have... I got a pretty Betsy. You don't have... a... fragment here, it seems. 
Gloss publication style tips of the stars issue two. Red outfits. Okay. Talking about that bullshit. Silk rope. And for some reason, her bed faces faces uh, away from her door. So she's clearly a psychopath. Is there anything? Not in that area. Not over there. All right. Okay, now we'll go. Sorry about that. Anyway, what do we got here? So this hasn't changed much overall. It does seem that the place where the inn used to be is no longer there. Yeah, the inn's not there anymore. It doesn't seem to be anything in its place at all. I think it was about here. Alright, let's go check out the town then. Seems they've drastically upgraded their building material. Wells all filled in. Ah, this is the old well. And it's empty. Well, empty. You, you, you know what I mean. Uh, what about this one? There's a lot of wells, like, everywhere. Hello? Found him in the middle. There's been nothing better than drinking lots and lots of Grondal's water and then taking a real long nap. I don't understand why people are bothering to drink anything except the water, actually. This place was designed especially for sampling Grondal's water. There are always a lot of visitors coming to town to taste it, you see, and it's been kind of famous for a long time. There's been no question Grondal's water is being the best for sure. I am coming here to get a water for cooking, but I am cannot be bothered to climb the rope. Will you do it for me? No? Gah. Uh, honey. They really went whole hand with the water around here. I work as a gardener right here at the Palazzo. I never met the owner of the, pal of the place, though. That is being kind of weird when you think about it. Door is locked. Can I get in through the well? No. Watch from the other side. But the back is open. Having worked right here at the Palazzo for two years now, but I'm still never having had a chance to show off my skills to the boss. It is such a shame he... He has never tasted my cookery. The money is super good, so it is just being a bit boring when I'm having no challenge. Who are you? This palazzo is being the property of the magnificent Bulgio. What reason are you having for being here? You're coming to tidy up the storeroom, yes? Go into the kitchen, you will find the staircase to your right, the store. Okay, so that's. Clearly where the piece is. Yep. And... Ah, there it is. 
Okay, red is definitely the next destination. Nothing. What about nope, not there. You are being late, still. At least you are now here. Go ahead and tidy up like we are having agreed. This is a whole lot of empty bottles all over the storeroom. You gotta pick them all up, yes? Once you are done, come and see me and I will give you your money. We're looking kind of not like the person who I asked first to do this job. Not that it matters, of course. Uh-huh. Vandalism. Vandalism and petty thievery. Did it wisdom. And a pair of scholar specs. Right. Doesn't appear... Okay, so it's Wisdom plus 15, but it doesn't really do much of anything otherwise. Okay. 50 gold coins. I'll take that. Where is the master of the house? Top hat. I guess I managed to give the bleeders who were after me the slip. I'm the only... I'm the one and only Little Ronnie, by the way. Latest in a long line of thieves and thugs going right back to legendary Big Ronnie. Or so me old man says. Now apparently Big Ron used to live coded, leave coded messages behind him wherever he went. My plan is to find these messages and work out what they say. I reckon I'm the man for the job. I mean, I'm family after all. Ah... Is that who owns the house? Five gold coins in a closet. I probably just rifled through the pockets of what's in the wardrobe and found five miscellaneous coins. What is with this place? Where is the man of the house? It's not fair to be asking a maid to clean the room this big. Uh... There aren't any other pieces in the village. So let's go check out the tree. The tree was just a sapling back then. How big is it now? It appears to have not changed much. Another red fragment. I am chopping wood in this forest now for nearly 20 years, and every single morning I am greeted by the song of the beautiful bluebird that lives in Yggdrasil's branches. Always it is making me feel better for the day ahead. What is this? Stories tell of a fairy of the forest who stood eternal watch over Yggdrasil as she grew. And so, from time to time, when I see this bluebird fly through her branches, I wonder if it might be the fairy in another form. Alas, I fear this may be no more than a fanciful notion of mine, and that the stories are just that. There was an old man here a second ago. There you are. Oh my, I barely know how to express my gratitude. Laying eyes on this magnificent tree has made my whole long life worthwhile. I always hoped I'd get the chance to see it before I left this world, and now I have. Wow, Yggdrasil is kind of amazing, isn't it? Until I actually saw it with my own eyes, I thought it was just a big tree. I didn't think we'd have this whole mysterious atmosphere thing going on. Hell.
Mm. I thought once I once it grew up to be larger, it would uh, give me the option to climb up it. Guess not. Well, I think I have what I've come for. One more time! Okay, red pillars. All right, who's next? Is it you? Yes. And here we are. Now what do we have? El Cyclo. What do you have? Nothing useful right now? Senor Pomposo promised me he would build a, me a house, so I prepared all the building materials in anticipation. Problem is that El Maestro will not work until in inspiration strikes. Uh -huh. I found as one of El Maestro's masterworks, although with the, along with the clock tower. Uh, it's a thing of wonder, is it not? It's a thing, all right. And this is also a thing. A weird-looking clock tower. No other clock tower could possibly compare. See, El Maestro is a genius. There's no other word for it. He speaks of this tower representing the flow of time itself. I understand what he means. I can feel it. Magnifico, estupendo. Truly, this is the work of El Ma Maestro at his very finest. And to think that tomorrow we will witness the opening of his, la his latest masterpiece, the new bridge. Ah, uh, it is too, too much. Our male lives in that brightly colored mansion. I do not know how he ever relaxes in such an eyesore. I don't understand the appeal of Signor Pomposo's work, and I suppose I never will. The opening ceremony of Pharrell Magnifico Puente de Pomposo really is taking place tomorrow, no? Muy bien, great. I just wanted to double check, you understand. Drop my pocket money, Mama will be so angry with me. Nothing. I guess we're going in here. Wow, this place is weird. Is this El Pomposo? Or Senor Pomposo? Bah, what is it? I am busy practicing my speech for the opening ceremony tomorrow. Or was I? We have been blessed with a clear sky and minimal clouds for this most illustrious occasion. Are we going to have more... Ah! Uh, more stone rain. Does that sound a little dull to you? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Perhaps you are right, but it is important to start a grand speech with a touch of formality, I feel. Don't mention clear skies when there's... A threat like stone turning rain or something like that. I'm stuck on a wall. Of course, I can see that Senor Pomposo is very talented, but I'm still not sure his buildings are really designed for people to live in. I mean, he's living in his own, isn't he? A top hat. I now have two. 
nothing. Ah. Nothing. Who lives in here? Da -da 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 -da. Mi hombre, my man, he is such, just so excited about the opening ceremony tomorrow. Uh, okay. Why do I have, why am I the only one with a bad feeling about this? It is not far away, but Los Mono Monstros. The monsters are waiting out there. I will need to remember to equip my sword and shield, or those beasts will get me. Of course, supuesto, of course. I will bring las... Yerbas Masadi... Medicinales. Medicinales? Do not want to, any injuries. I guess medicinal herbs. Okay, so here's the weapon and armor shop. I have anything better than what I got. Uh, I got a tortoise shell. Do I have a tortoise shell? I don't have a tortoise shell. Magic vestments. White shield, magic shield. Iron mask. Alright, I have that. Two magic shields would cost me 10,000, leaving with six. Magic vestments would be better for Maribel, but it's only plus two. Quarter shell is a plus five for rough. Trying to look at what's like the best improvement. Magic shield is a plus three for Maribel. But a plus five for me. So I'm thinking maybe I'll get one magic shield, one tortoise shell, and a magic vestment. Yeah. Quarter shell for rough. And a magic vestment for Maribel. I can sell some of my old stuff. I can probably get full plate armor for myself as well. Okay, I don't need the iron shield. Uh, cloak of evasion can go. Hey, welcome back. Yeah. And the garish garb. I know I'm. I, I'm definitely keeping the heart. I have an absolute feeling that that's gonna ha uh, come in handy at some point in the future. And in the bag we have. Gale armor. Poison moth knife. Uh, I'll figure it out as I go. I'm sure. I'm sure it'll come up at some point. The iron lance can go. The edge boomerang can go. Uh, is it explicit? Is it ever explicitly told to me, or at least hinted at during the game?
No. Uh... Just tell me, like, the general area, or the name of the city. The Abbey? Alright. I can get full plate armor for myself. And another magic shield for Maribel. Okay, I will. Oh! Is it? That's a... That's a, a, a hidden... What is it? A hidden class, isn't it? Alright, I can get full plate armor for myself and a magic shield for Maribel with the 10,000 coins that I have, so I may as well. Well, obviously I'm gonna give it to Ruff. Oh, I didn't even think about weapons. Butch hammer. Cane whip. Steel broadsword, steel fangs. Okay, so these aren't actually much better. Anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Is this modern day, or is this the past? This is the past. I'm in the past right now. Give me a second. Hello, slime! Oh, crit! Hell yeah! Man, this thing is a dodgy character, isn't it? Still here. Fuck. Gotcha! 2,000 points, hell yeah! Ruff is level 20. Nice. Alright. I shall be back. Okay, so I can't use evac here. Giving Ruff the monster heart feels like a pretty obvious thing to go with. Oh, not the Shrine of Mysteries, damn it. Let's change the camera angle. Okay, there was somebody who told me about, like, the... A certain legend that's been on my mind of late. They say that he who climbs to our world's highest point and holds a precious gem aloft will awaken a mighty hero. Somebody said that there was something... Somebody to the left here that told me about, uh, advanced locations. Here we are. Yes, okay. So, ooh, there's a lot of them! Monster vocations which inherits powers from monsters it has known. Where does mastery of this peculiar path lead? Bill only to those who are intimately acquainted with the hearts of monsters. So I do have... I have a Chimera heart.
Monster Masher. A master of monsters is able to commune with them, wield their abilities, and win their affection. Master the Thief and Shepherd vocations. Gladiator! Master and Warrior. Warrior Martial Arts vocations. Okay, so I am on that path right now. Adept who combines the abilities of a warrior with a mage's magical powers. Okay. A paladin. A martial artist and priest. Champion, gladiator, and paladin. Ooh, interesting. The sage is for mage and... Did they... Did they misspell priest? No, oh, okay. Age and Priest Vocations is the Sage. That's definitely going to be one for Maribel. Uh, the Luminary, Dancer, Jester, and Troubadour. A star among stars, able to rally allies with a variety of inspiring dances and songs. Pirates, Thief, and Sailor. Druid, Sage, and Luminary. Ooh. And the Hero... Only those who master select variety of vocations. Interesting. Uh, yes. Let's see rough. Not available right now, it seems. How do I use it? His costumes are hilarious, though. <laughs> it's a wolf in sheep's clothing. <laughs> Nothing else really changes the wolf's appearance except the shepherd vocation and the jester. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. Okay, I will I will check this. Uh, let's see. I need 3 more. Maribel needs 21 more, and Ruff needs 7 more. Ooh! Maybe I should just fight a little bit more. Because... I'm pretty sure... 7 and 7. Yeah. Uh, Ruff and I are pretty close to mastering our current vocations. So if I just zoom back... To the Shrine of Mysteries, I'm going to fight the monsters in the area there, and hopefully it's enough that we can just master our current vocations before I switch anything to rough. No, he does not. He does. Are there different kinds of hearts, or is it just the Chimera hearts? Ah. Hey, I still have more red pieces? I have one piece for this location. Interesting. Alright, I'm gonna go here, and hopefully seven fights will win me mastery in mine and Ruff's current, current vocations. Let's find out.
I don't know why I need to use Dragon Slash on that guy. Sure. Alright, that's one. If these are tough enough, then I will... Uh, rank up with the next battle after this. Alright, I don't know if these were tough enough, but let's find out. Ooh! Well, that guy wasn't very tough. Stick around. Stuck around. Stick around. Fuck. Hey, I'm I maxed out. I got Hatchet Man. Well, yeah, these are tough enough. Which means uh, Rough should only need four more. That they both ran. That's one. Oh, this will definitely count. Apparently, two of them were already dead by the time I got there. I think that was... I think you should only need two more, right? Up, oh, still here. Fuck. Yeah! Alright, I think he only needs one or two more. Hopefully these are tough enough, though, is the main concern. The problem with overleveling is that I can't complete my mastery very easily. Yes! Fist of Fates win Sickles. He has maxed out his as well. Right? Yes. Gold stars, gold stars. She needs 21 to max this out. I think. No. We just went through 7. So she only needs 14. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to go switch Ruff's vocation to whatever the Chimera Heart gives me. Is the Chimera Heart the only monster heart there is? Or is there other monster hearts that I should consider? That. Chimera. Wait. Oh, he can become a gladiator now as well. What does the Chimera do? More info. Okay. Can sometimes dodge enemy attacks. A vocation that excels in fire-based attacks and is highly resistant to them too. Mastery speed normal. Okay. Are there other kinds to... Classifications, progressive charts. Okay. I'm 
there are other kinds of monster hearts. All right. Interesting. But it looks like I can, I can like, I just get a bunch of different hearts. I, I end up using the hearts when I, uh, I assume I use the heart when I switch the vocation. Uh, the detriment doesn't seem too bad. The strength, there are other monster hearts, okay. Strength goes down by four, agility down by nine. Resilience down by two. Style. Style doesn't matter. Uh, wisdom actually goes up. Attack down by four. Defense down by two. HP down. Uh, that's actually the, the biggest hit there. Is HP down by... What is that? 17? The MP almost doubles. Actually, it do actually does double. It's not... It's not bad. We'll see. It also has an improved dodge rate, I guess. So we'll see how this goes. Wait, does it? it just changes him back to his original costume. Okay. Yes, I will change to a gladiator while I'm here. Nice. Everything is positive. I love that. Everything is a positive. Let's see. Increased likelihood of inflicting critical hits. Hell yeah. Expert fighter who's mastered the way of the warrior and the martial artist. A slow mastery speed. Okay. So for my first rank mastery, I guess the basic basic vocations are just generally fast. Uh, not yet. I'm going to get Sage for Maribel. Let's see. How do I need for my first rank up? Yeah, I need 12 for my first one. All right. Marable, yep, just needs 14, and Rough needs 13. Alright, this shouldn't be too bad. We're all about the same. Wow, the amount of detail in my outfit is incredible. But, for now, it's we're, we've hit the two and a half hour mark, so I'm going to leave it here. That's been great. This is going to be very interesting over the next uh, few sessions. But, for now, I'm going to have to go for the day. Thank y'all so much for coming by and hanging out. Thanks, Zach, for the tips that you helped me with. Yeah, I hope you have a good rest of your day. And I'll talk to y'all later. We'll come back to this on Monday. Tomorrow I'll be drawing some more. I'll be finishing up the piece that I started last weekend. So yeah, until then, I'll see y'all later. Have a good rest of your day.